Every one of us looks different. And in the same way, everyone's brain works differently too. And so we all experience the world differently. We all like and dislike different things. We all find some things easy and some things difficult. And this varies from person to person. The world would be very boring if we were all the same. Boring. But for some people, the difference between the things they find easy and hard are more noticeable. This is because their brains have grown in a different way and this can make life difficult for them. Some people are identified as having a condition because of how different their brain works. You may have heard of autism, ADHD or dyslexia. There are many types of these conditions and some people are affected more than others. So some may need a little bit of help with learning, like with their reading, writing or counting and everyday activities like going to the bathroom and washing themselves whereas others may need a lot more help. Our senses, what we see, hear, smell, taste and touch, send information to our brains about our world. But there are some children whose brains are connected differently to others. And when the brain and senses don't communicate well, the person gets confused and has trouble understanding the world around them. So what they hear, smell or feel, everyday things that most of us don't have a problem with, can be frightening or upsetting for them. This can cause them to get upset, shout, scream or cry. They are not being naughty. There is too much happening around them and their brain can't process it. So they may need to take a break to a quiet place on their own to feel better again. So what do these differences look like? Well, there are some children that may not be able to say a lot of words for their age or even be able to speak at all. They may babble or make noises that we don't understand or repeat the same words or do the same action over and over again. They may appear very shy and find it hard to communicate with others. So to ask for something, they may use sign language or pictures instead of their voice. They may also move their bodies unusually or flap their hands, rock or spin. They may find it hard to sit or wait patiently in a queue. They may find simple changes difficult, like eating a new food going to a new classroom, or having a new teacher. But it is important to remember that people who have these differences are different in some ways, but they are also the same as everybody else in many other ways. We all have habits to make us feel calm in uncomfortable situations. We might look away, chew our fingernails, or fidget. In the same way, you may see some children chewing, sucking or holding objects that you may find a bit odd or babyish. But this is perfectly okay. It's just their way of helping themselves feel calm and relaxed too. All these different behaviours are not something to be scared of. Children are born with these conditions and you can't catch it like a cold. They are not ill or broken. They just need a little more support from family, friends and teachers. You should feel free to talk openly about it and ask questions to adults. Sometimes when children are different, other children will ignore them or even be unkind. It's important to be caring and understanding towards others that behave in ways that we might think are strange or immature. Many of these children struggle to fit in and make friends, so it is a great thing to help them if you can. Say hello, 
and be friendly. Even include them in your games and activities, if they want to, of course. Remember to be patient and give them time. Ask yourself, if I had these types of issues, how would I want other children to treat me? Children whose brains have developed differently are just like you. They have things they are very good at and things they are not. And just like you, they have many activities they enjoy doing too. By being more caring and understanding, it doesn't just help others, it also helps you learn more about yourself and the world you live in and helps us all become the best we can be.